y'all really looking at this video like, yo, this man really wake up at 4 a.m.? Yes, yes, I wake up at 4 a.m. Every morning, well, not every morning, Monday through Friday, you know, and I'm gonna tell you why. So this is going back, I'm gonna start back like, I, since I've been playing sports, man, I've been up early, whether it's for practices, workouts before class, whatever the case may be, like I've always been a morning person. Like I've always had to get up early for something. It's been something that I, it's been in me for most of my life since I've been playing sports. So I just carried that over to, you know, life after sports, you know, especially when I wanna get a workout in, like I'm trying to get a workout in in peace. I've been probably waking up at 4 a.m. for like the past like two years. Before I'd probably get up at like five, but with me, like the gyms out here that I'd be going to, it began packed by 5, 5.30 and I'm the type like, yo, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get my work in with no one in the gym. I ain't trying to be up under everybody. For the people who be going after work, y'all just be going to, I mean, if you, if you really don't have another time or possibility based off your work schedule, like, that's just a time where like everybody in there trying to flex everyone in there trying to like show off i i think that's just like what i think it may not necessarily be the case but it just be packed after 4 30 because everyone getting out of work and everyone going straight to the gym most of y'all don't even really be getting a workout in unless you're in a crazy big gym for me like i love going in the morning there's nobody there except for the old people and the ones who really trying to you know get that work in and I'll be able to get my work in in a good amount of time. Like I'm not in there trying to wait on machines. I'm not in there, you know, worrying about if so, I gotta get to a machine before somebody else. Like I can take my time, get a good workout and get back to the crib. Now, before I even, before I even get into me waking up, I'm gonna tell you, I go to bed at like 8.30. You what? If anything, I'm in the bed at eight. I'm trying to be asleep by like 8.30. What kind of shit is that? I don't have like no excuses, nothing. Like if there's a game on, like usually I'll watch most of it, but like I'm asleep no later than nine o'clock. No later than nine o'clock. And for me, I don't need any more than like six to eight hours. If I get six hours of sleep, I'm good. If I get eight, I'm great. Before I even go to bed, you know, I put my gym bag together, pick out what I'm gonna wear to the gym. Cause when I wake up in the morning, like I ain't trying to think about that. I'm just trying to have what I had, what I picked out, put it on and be out. So once I do all that, I wake up 4 a.m. I get up, brush my teeth, you know, wash my face. I don't eat before I go to the gym just because I'm never really hungry at that time. And it's just like, it kind of just makes me bloated and, you know, I ain't trying to work out on a full stomach. It takes me about like 15 minutes to get to the gym. So I leave the house around like 4.15, get there by like 4.30. And mind you, there's nobody on the road. So like, I'm really just, just coasting, bro. Getting on the highway, coasting with the music. It's just like one of the best times. It's like pretty much driving late at night, except it's the morning. But you know those vibes when you put the music on, you just vibing out. So that's kind of how I like really get ready, wake up. I don't take pre-workout. I don't take, you know, all I take is protein after I finish my workout. I don't take none of that, that bullshit. I don't need all that. So I get to the gym around like 4.30. And honestly, sometimes if I wake up, if I wake up, you know, it's like 3.30, I got to pee or something like that in the middle of the night. Like, I'm just getting up and going to the gym. So sometimes I get there at like 4, to be honest. Like, y'all think I'm crazy, but hey, man, it's just a lifestyle that I be living. So I go to the gym, you know, I'll stretch, do my workout. You know, I do cardio like two, three times a week. So if I'm doing it after the workout, I'll do it. I'm out the gym no later than 6 o'clock. You know, again, get home around like 6.15, 6.30. Just depending on if I got to stop at the store real quick or, you know, pick up some for the day, get home, shower, do what I got to do. And then literally from like seven to nine ish, um, I just like spend time with God, pray, you know, read the Bible, journal, meditate, you know, and just try to get what I got to get done until, you know, I get my work day started. Now, mind you, I work from home which is why most of my videos I'm always recording at home. So I have the leisure to be able to do stuff that most people might not be able to. So people ask me like, why I wake up at four o'clock if I work from home? And it's just, you know, it's just a habit that I got into and I just enjoy. But like I said, journal, spend time with me. Like I'm really spending time like with myself. I'm not on my phone. The only time I'm on my phone is literally when I'm playing music at the gym if i'm reading the bible app on my phone other than that like i'm not scrolling through no type of news no type of sports none of that like i don't check any of that i'm really worrying about what i got going on in front of me at the moment and just really like spending time with myself and really getting me right
uh, like eight o'clock in between that, like I sign on to work. No one really gets on until like 9.30, 9, 9.30. But like I said, I like to be done with my day at work by like 4.30. Uh, once like nine o'clock hits, I'll make breakfast, get my day started. And then from that point on, if I have work to do, if I have a ton of work to do, some days are, you know, shorter than others. But most of the time, like when I get my work done, like I'm done with everything that I have to do that's on my task board or whatever I got scheduled by noon. If I have meetings later in the afternoon, that's cool because like I said, I really don't have nothing else to do. I've done everything I needed to do. If I got to run errands in between, I'll use probably between like nine and 10 o'clock to run my errands or I'll do it at between like eight and nine. So it just all depends on what I got to do, but pretty much like everything that I have to do for me, errands, self-care, whatever, I'm done by like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. And then from that point on, I just work on YouTube, making videos, editing videos, doing work for my actual job. Like it's, I'm blessed that I'm able to work from home and not be really micromanaged by my boss. So I'm able to, you know, edit YouTube videos while also being able to do the work I have to do for my job. Probably by like 12, one o'clock, I'm done for the day. Like I really don't have anything to do that like is like needs my attention besides it's anything that I want to do for myself. So if I want to keep making YouTube videos, keep making YouTube content, researching ways to better my YouTube page, doing other things for work to, you know, help my job and help me, you know, grow in that role that I'm in as a marketing specialist. Just doing all these different things. Like all my responsibilities and my priorities are already out the way. All because I wake up at four o'clock in the morning. So literally, if you think about it, I wake up at four and I'm done with what I gotta do pretty much by like noon, one o'clock. So I pretty much just did an eight hour day, nine hour day by 1 p.m. Most people who wake up at like seven, eight, nine, you know, they're getting their days finished by like four or five. Meanwhile, I'm over here chilling, being able to have my day open to do whatever I need to do or want to do by 12, one o'clock. So that's why I love waking up that early. It's a sacrifice. There's, trust me, there's days where I don't want to do it, but I just stay consistent and I just, I'm just dedicated and disciplined to wanting to do this because I know what it brings and I know what it allows me to do. Now, everybody is different. I'm not saying wake up at 4 a.m. You'll have the most efficient and best life ever everybody's different i'm just used to being up early i'm just used to getting stuff done early so it's like it's in my blood it's like in my nature and i enjoy it don't get me wrong on the weekends like saturday and sunday i'm not going to the gym like i take those days off specifically to rest recover you know enjoy life because i don't want to be you know on that routine seven days a week like that's not healthy and also it's just like not fun i'm not saying what i do is fun i do enjoy it, but it's not fun there are days where let's say if i you know go out to dinner on a during the week or if i you know go to a event or something like that like i know tomorrow shout out to my boy stacy j he has a um an event tomorrow a little concert that he's performing at that's at 8 p.m i'm gonna go to that but I'ma still get up at four o'clock and go to the gym. Like those are just trade-offs that you gotta make. You just gotta hold yourself accountable. I've never not gone to the gym because I've got because I was out too late. I always make sure I get home and I always make sure that I'm able to get up to be able to go to the gym. Sometimes I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I go home, I come home, go to sleep, sleep for like four hours, go to the gym, come back and sleep again. Like I still wanna keep that routine if it's during the week. Now, I try my best to stay in that routine and I'm, I'm literally like 95% always consistent with it. Like I'm, you know, I'm in the crib chilling and just, you know, when it's time to go to bed at 8, 830, I'm in the bed. But, you know, sometimes stuff happens and, you know, you just want to get out and change stuff up. So I do that. But I always make sure the next morning I'm getting up and I'm on my way to the gym around four o'clock. People are going to ask me, like, what are other ways to, you know, be more productive. I would just say, just start whatever, whatever time you wake up, I would just start my morning an hour before that. So if you wake up at like six, wake up at five. If you wake up at five, try waking up at four. If you like me and you wake up at four, I'm not waking up at three o'clock. That's like, I feel like 4 a.m. is like an acceptable time to be up and getting what I got to get done. Now, if you work like an overnight shift from like 10 to 6 a.m., instead of going to sleep, go get that workout in real quick. Go get what you got to get done and then go to sleep and then do what you got to do that way you know you're not going to sleep waking up going to the gym and then you got to scramble and get all your stuff ready for your job and everything at night but like i said everybody's different that's just something that i suggest you know i just wanted to give y'all literally what i do monday through friday 
and you know why it works for me. It may not work for you, but I just see that by the time 12 or one o'clock hits, I'm done. I'm chilling for the day. And most people are, you know, still scrambling around getting stuff done. Now, mind you, I'm still working. So I'm still on the clock at work. I'm still like in that work mode, but I don't have any other priorities that I got to get done that I need to get done because I handled all that in the morning. Anybody who wants to change stuff up or, you know, you have the ability, you have the day where, you know, you, you can work from home. You know, they're not really on your ass like that. Like you're able to, you know, be flexible and be able to do different things. Try it. Just try waking up at 430. Try waking up at five if you're a, if you're a morning person. But like, you know, you're trying to wake up a little bit earlier and get more stuff done. Just try it. I enjoy it. I love doing it. I'm going to keep on doing it. So I can't do it anymore. I just feel so much better. Now, one of the downsides is by like two or three o'clock, I'm tired. Like I start getting tired. Like if it's, you know six seven eight at night before i go to bed at like 10 11. so that is one thing like and it does affect me on the weekends too because i can't sleep in on the weekend sometimes i wake up at like 4 a.m just off of like impulse just off of my body being so used to waking up at that time that i'm up and sometimes i gotta just you know either try to go back to sleep or you know i just gotta wing it and stay up and you know lay in bed and do what i gotta do for the most part like monday through friday i would never ever i don't think i'll ever stop getting up at 4 a.m I, like I said, I just love my peace. I love being able to, you know, everybody's asleep. Every, everything's turned off. Like I'm just kind of just focusing on me. Nothing's rushing through my head crazy. I'm able to just be calm and collected and, you know, get what I got to get done during that time frame. So like I said, if you really want to make a change and you're serious about it, like you, you want questions about how I do it even more in detail, just hit me up, send me an email, whatever. I'll be more than happy to give y'all some advice. For me, like y'all see how I look, y'all see how I feel. It's all because I'll be waking up at four o'clock in the morning. So I'm letting y'all know now, like if y'all wanna make some changes and be able to get more stuff done during the day and you feel like you don't have enough time to get stuff done within that 24 hours, start waking up a little bit earlier. You know what I mean? Like every and it may have to sacrifice you going to bed earlier, but sleep is something that I prioritize because that's how, you know, I'm able to not be able to not have to take naps during the day, not get tired. Like I don't drink coffee. Like I don't drink none of that. Like I literally just run off of the energy that I have for the day. Honestly, I feel more energetic in the mornings and it carries on throughout the day, but it's something that took me a while to get used to, but I feel like now I'm at a point, I'm in a groove where, you know, it's like second nature to me. I also want to say, I appreciate y'all for watching these videos. I appreciate y'all for commenting. I see all the comments. I see all the love. I see all the, you know, all the stuff that you guys are going through just like me. I appreciate y'all who have subscribed. Let's get it to hundred subscribers, man. I know that's small, but for me, that's big. That's a hundred people who really mess with my content and really, you know, enjoy seeing me speak on this platform. So like I said, I appreciate all y'all who watch this video. So hit that subscribe button. Man, like I said, it's just a blessing to be able to, you know, see people subscribing and see people interact with my videos. Like I, like I said, I never really thought this would happen. But like I said, I just keep trusting God and letting him guide me down this path that I'm on to greatness. So like I said, man, if you all need any advice or any more tips on, you know, how to get started getting up and having an early morning routine, just send me an email, man. But other than that, have a great rest of your week and stay blessed.